Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here back at TechCrunch Disrupt. First, I'd like to give a shout out to Team Spruce, winners of the hackathon. Good job, guys. Nice work. So I'm here to share some really exciting new news with you guys today. But before I do, I wanted to spend a few moments to set some context. Over the last 50 years, payment methods have evolved pretty slowly. In the beginning, there was just cash, which is great because everyone accepts it. The problem is you can only spend what you can carry around with you, and you can lose it, and it's gone. And then the banks gave us payment cards, which was great because it gave us so much spending power onto one piece of plastic. But over the years, that one piece of plastic has turned into five, six, seven, which we all carry around with us credit cards, debit cards, loyalty cards, gift cards, private label cards, our wallets keep getting fatter and fatter. And then a few years ago, the smartphone came along and changed all of our lives for good. We touch our mobile phones 20 times more frequently than we touch our physical wallets. And yet, we have failed to produce the expectations for mobile payments. The early innings were all about NFC. And it turns out that tapping a phone is actually not that much better than swiping a card. And so at PayPal, we have spent our time focusing on using mobile to recreate new types of experiences that consumers have never been able to have before. And just last week, we updated our mobile app to provide a whole host of new features. For example, you can now view and save offers from your favorite retailers right to your digital wallet. You never have to worry about losing or forgetting your coupon will even alert you before it expires so you never miss out on savings. In fact, if you haven't tried it, download the app today, and if you go back to the PayPal coffee shop in the back, there's a coupon for a free coffee or espresso. It's good stuff, not the cheap stuff. We also have new experiences that we're enabling through this app. We now let you order ahead and skip the line at some locations, and in others, you can view your check and pay right from the table, so you never have to wait for your waiter. I want to talk about PayPal check-in. Our customers love the experience of being able to check into a store with PayPal and pay with their identity, not with a card or with cash. It's a truly magical experience, and it's one that we're enabling all over the world. Today, we're live in the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, Hong Kong, and Japan. But we can do better. In fact, we know we can do better. We can remove more friction from this process and we can create more value for retailers and customers. And so for the last nine months, we have been heads down, back at our labs, working to bring you this. Introducing PayPal Beacon. This is gonna be big, but the device is actually quite small. Got one right here in my pocket. This device is a low energy Bluetooth device that will serve as a secure and seamless connection to retailers and their customers. It will remove friction from the consumer experience and like a beacon, it will alert retailers or it will allow retailers to alert their customers to all the new experiences that they can have in their retail locations. To show you how it works, I want to invite my friend Hasey Granberry up on stage. Hasey? There's your beacon. Thank you. So Hasey's actually the lead developer on this project, and as such, he gets his own virtual grocery store, Hasey's Groceries. So I'm now plugged in here. Uh, those pretty lights mean that PayPal Beacon is on, my store is open, and the beacon is sending out a Bluetooth low energy signal letting customers know that I'm ready for business. Now, I happen to have plugged it in close to my register, but it doesn't need to be close to my register. It could be anywhere in the store. It could be up at the front door, it could be in the back, it could be in an aisle, it's tiny, it can go anywhere. Also, I happen to be using PayPal here as my register, but I could use any point of sale system that's integrated PayPal payments, for example, NCR, Micros, Shopkeep, Vend, and a host of others. Yeah. So before PayPal Beacon, when I would come to Hasty's Groceries, I would pull out my mobile app, find PayPal, and check into the store. And now with the Beacon, I don't even have to touch my phone. As I'm coming into the store, my app will listen to the beacon and notify me that I've been checked in securely. In fact, 
In this particular case, I can even see that there's a special, a special on blueberries. So as I come into the store, I can go shop, get whatever I want. In this case, I'd like to try your special blueberry, Stacey. Excellent, I'll ring you up. So if we switch to the iPad, you'll be able to see PayPal here. And I can pick blueberries. Check you out. How would you like to pay? PayPal. Excellent. I can pick Hill from the list. I confirm the payment. And we're done. That easy. Thanks, AC. Excellent. Thank you. So that may be the shortest demo in TechCrunch Disrupt history. And that's not by accident. We designed it that way. No taps, no swipes, no signatures. The payment completely gets out of your way. But sometimes you might want a little more friction. Let's say for payments over 30 bucks, you want to confirm that every time. We'll give you that control. And because it uses the PayPal beacon to process that confirmation, it's lightning fast. It happens in milliseconds. We never have to go to the internet to process that. At PayPal, your privacy is paramount, and we put the customer in complete control of this experience. So if you want to be automatically checked in at your store, favorite store every time, you can do that. If you want to never be checked in at a store, you can do that too. Or if you just want to be prompted every single time and make that decision on a case-by-case -case basis, you have that choice. Let's see how PayPal Beacon stacks up as a technology. As you just saw, it's much, much faster than swiping a card, and it's much faster than tapping a phone. And it works across platforms, iOS, Android, Verizon, AT&T. You don't have to be on any specific carrier. You don't have to be on any specific platform. It just works. Unlike GPS, it doesn't kill your battery. That's big. And it doesn't even require an internet connection. And because it's PayPal, you know it's safe. I've talked about customers and merchants, but now let's talk about developers. We think the PayPal Beacon opens up a world of opportunity for developers. Now I'd like to share a video with you that shows our vision of how we see people shopping in 2014. Roll the video, please. Sometimes it feels like you're running all day long. And sometimes it's nice to have some help with the little things along the way. The PayPal app, with hands-free check-in to pay, is designed to help manage the little things so they don't get in your way. It lets you set your preferences so you can automatically check in and pay with PayPal on your mobile device at businesses that you choose. No wallet or cash required. Because the little things can add up when you're on the go. The PayPal app seamlessly connects with the PayPal Beacon, a state-of-the-art, low-energy Bluetooth device in your favorite stores that helps you get what you want when you want it. The PayPal app and PayPal Beacon, making hands-free payments a reality. Here's to the little things. I don't know about you, but that's how I want to live. That's amazing. I will say, small disclaimer, holography will not be provided in 2014. We think that's a few years out, but you get the point. You notice when she was shopping in the grocery store that it didn't just say, you're ready to pay. She was able to actually launch a contextual new experience of being able to check herself out in the aisle of a grocery. So these are the type of experiences that we think the developer community can really innovate on. You see, at PayPal, we're really just building the infrastructure to enable this. There's a beginning and an end. And that beginning starts with the beacon, that contextual alert that lets you know there's something good there. And at the end, it's a payment, something that we do pretty well. And in the beginning, in the middle, all that white space is for you, the developer community, to innovate. We think you can come up with all kinds of ideas to make the retail shopping experience much better than it is today. So no matter how big you are or how small you are as a retailer, you would love for your customers to all have your mobile app installed on your customers' phones. But it's hard to get consumers to download mobile apps. And it's even harder to get them to think about those mobile apps at the right time. 
After all, we shop in hundreds of different stores a year, but we don't want 100 different mobile apps on our cell phones. Think of PayPal as a platform that contextually connects millions of consumers with all the millions of merchants, all in one mobile app. It's truly a one-stop shop. And we expect full rollout of the beacon in 2004, 14. <laughs> but to learn more, you can go to paypal.com slash beacon, get more info, and submit your ideas. We'll be giving early access to our API and early devices to those developers who submit the most compelling creative visions. So I'd like to thank TechCrunch for the opportunity to make this announcement here today. I can't imagine a better place to release this into the wild. And I want to thank all of you watching in on video. Appreciate your time and attention. I hope you're as excited about the future of retail as we are. We look forward to creating the future together. Thank you.